Coming up in this episode of the Theme Park News Show, I talk all about a huge new rapids ride coming to Silver Dollar City. Along with that, I share news from Alton Towers, Drayton Manor, Blackpool Pleasure Beach, and much more. It's Roller Coaster Day 2019, and this is the Theme Park News Show. Sean Sandbrook and welcome to the Theme Park News Show. So yes, happy roller coaster day to all of you out there. And I would love to know exactly what you're doing today on roller coaster day. Have you gone somewhere special? Maybe you've got a roller coaster that means a lot to you, or you've just gone for a family day out at a theme park. Let me know down below in the video comments, and I'll be letting you know what I'm up to today in just a few moments when we get into news on the tracks. Uh, but yes, in terms of other videos that have gone online on the channel this week, loads of new vlogs. We've started off with our Europe trip vlogs now, including the travel vlog of us going out to the Netherlands and Belgium. And then, of course, me and Charlotte's day at Toverland and Wallaby Holland. Uh, they're both now online, so check those out. Uh, and then you've got the rest of those vlogs to follow, uh, all coming up over the next week uh, before next Friday's show. So, yeah, lots of vlogs going online, daily vlogs on the channel, other than the Fridays uh, when we put on the news show. But, yeah, lots going on and lots to be excited for. Uh, there's just over 33 days or something. I think it is until me and Charlotte are going to be going over to Florida uh, so we're really excited for that and of course we can't wait to share uh, all the updates lots going on out there it's going to be our first ride on Hagrid's Magical Creatures Motorbike Adventure such a long name isn't it at uh, Universal Orlando uh, we're going to be seeing Star Wars Galaxy's Edge uh, the new Illuminations replacements and so much more loads to look forward to um, but yes, in terms of theme park news, there's also been quite a bit going on this week. Maybe not quite as much as there was for last Friday, uh, but it's still been a pretty busy week in the theme park industry. And a few UK bits to talk about as well this week. Uh, that is always good to have stuff a bit more local. So uh, I'll talk all about that as we move into News on the Tracks. So the 16th of August is officially Roller Coaster Day and it's celebrated among theme park and roller coaster enthusiasts all across the world and there's a lot of parks out there that recognise that and do special events. Alton Towers just up the road from me, a local park, and they're doing something special and celebrating 25 years of Nemesis by running an event uh, today, as in Friday the 16th, and all across this weekend, where there's a discounted rate if you take along an old Nemesis on-ride photo. The first 250 riders, they get uh, like a little pin badge. Along with that, you've got the chance to meet the legend himself, John Wardley, who designed the ride, and a lot of the other classics at Alton Towers. And uh, along with that as well, the rides open an extra hour uh, into the evening until seven o'clock so um, yeah it means you've got a good full day uh, to get loads of rides on Nemesis and that's what I'm doing today that's my challenge uh, for all the coast today this year I'm seeing how many rides I can get on Nemesis bear in mind it's summer holidays I'm aiming to get 25 I mean that's my goal throughout the full day try and get 25 rides in I think what nine hours on Nemesis. It opens at 10 and it's open till 7. So yeah, nine hours to get as many rides on Nemesis. Aiming for 25 or more, ideally. I'll be a bit disappointed if I get less than that, but I'm going to try my best. And uh, yeah, that vlog will be coming up soon on the channel, so stay tuned for that one. Uh, but yes, what are you doing for Roller Coaster today? Like I said, I'd love to know in the video comments. Maybe I'm going to see some of you at Alton Towers across uh, the next couple of days as well. I'll probably nip in again over the weekend with them doing the special event and with John being there as well. And uh, yeah, it'd be great to see. So let me know what you're doing. And uh, yeah, that's what I'm doing for Roller Coaster today. Blackpool Pleasure Beach, they're going in there and doing something a bit different as well. 1994 was the year of the roller coaster for the UK. Uh, Nemesis at Alton Towers, the big one at Blackpool Pleasure Beach and Shockwave at Drayton Manor. Uh, what Blackpool are actually doing to celebrate is they've got the new soundtrack for the big one that's going to be launching today, as in the 16th. So I'll be heading down there at some point. We're going for late night riding next week, so might try and head down before that if possible. Uh, but yes, they've got a new soundtrack being produced or composed by the notable Stranger um, who was responsible for that Icon soundtrack and also a lot of the music as well in Hot Ice. So that is certainly very exciting. Uh, I don't know if it's going to be just playing in the queue line and station or if we're going to start to see it 
I don't know, maybe using the speakers up the lift hill and stuff. I'm really not too sure at the moment. However, uh, I think it'll be a really nice addition to the ride. It's never had its own soundtrack. It's got announcements and like a bit of a beat playing in the station, but not a proper soundtrack. So following the success of Icon and how that's gone for the park, good to see the sort of going back to the big one and turning it into more of an experience. But let me know your thoughts on that uh, down below in the video comments. Right then, so moving a little bit away from roller coaster today, but still talking about roller coasters, and mainly here in the UK for 2020, where we already know there's two new coasters opening next year, the Flamingo Land 10 Inversion Coaster, and a Storm Chaser, a Mack Ride spinning coaster uh, going into Poulton's Park as part of Tornado Springs. However, Legoland Windsor have actually applied for planning permission to build a new little junior coaster. And this thing looks like it's going to be tiny. I'll put the plans on there for you. However, it's a third roller coaster for them, uh, which I think is certainly needed. You've got the Dragon Coaster, you've got Dragon's Apprentice, and that's your lot. This one looks like it'd be a bit of a build-up towards Dragon's Apprentice. Um, so, you know, we are talking a small little ride. Something very similar, maybe, to Bar Express, which is in the island-themed area at Europa Park. Um, that was built in combination between Mac and Art Engineering. Um, so there's a few people saying, oh, the layout looks like it might be something from Art Engineering, and Legoland have worked with them before, so that could be interesting. Um, but yeah, I mean, I'm looking forward to seeing this if the plans do go through. It will be located within the Duplo Valley themed area of the park however it doesn't necessarily mean it'll be themed to that it's sort of located on the edge of it so maybe they could go with a bit of a different theme if they wanted to or theme it all in with it uh, but nonetheless it's a new roller coaster for the UK cred to cred and it, I think it really fit in with the target audience at Legoland uh, even Dragon's Apprentice might be a bit too big for some of the kids that go to that park so uh, they're really thinking like going back to like you know your child's first coaster experience and that could be this ride going in there so yeah it looks very simple you know sort of a loop layout on there um, you know I, I think it'll have multiple laps probably go around maybe three maybe four times at a guess from looking at the elevations, doesn't seem like it's got a lift hill, meaning it could be powered or most likely might use kicker wheels to sort of propel it round just a, a little section, a bit like the Bar Express, uh, and then it'll sort of make its way back through the station and around. So, uh, I don't know, but let me know your thoughts. I think it's good to see. Uh, do I think Legoland needs something a bit bigger than that, ideally? Yes. Uh, but coming in 2021, subject to the plan permission, we're going to be seeing the Lego movie world that's going to be taken over that area by Squid Surfer and a new indoor ride and stuff. So they've put in plan permission for that a few weeks ago, uh, which is good to see. So yeah, I think, you know, a lot of investments coming in. There's rumours that's going to be a flying theatre. Um, you know, a bit like Soaring, for example, at the Disney parks or Valetarium at Europa Park. Something along those lines is expected for Legoland and the Lego Movie World. Um, yeah, new little kids coaster should, if all goes well, be opening in 2020. Moving on then, lots of roller coaster news, this time a bit of exciting news from Drayton Manor. Uh, now we already know uh, that Drayton Manor, you know, they confirmed that G-Force is not going to be operating anymore at the park. That was confirmed over winter. However, it's SBNO at the moment. It's standing but not operating, that's what that means. And um, yeah, the coaster sat there, but it's just got a fence around it, nothing's happening. However, um, George Bryan has now confirmed that G-Force is up, is up for sale and they are looking for a buyer at the moment. Uh, whether they've found one by now or not, I'm not too sure, but it is up for sale, or was up for sale. Um, they're hoping to remove the ride um, over this winter period. And uh, yeah, it looks like we're going to be seeing some new investments as well, as uh, George Bryan has confirmed the area there uh, will go with the seaside theme. So they're going to look forward to um, yeah, sort of moving forward with the park and go with like a seaside beach feel to it uh, with a new family ride for 2020. So we don't know what that's going to be. I doubt it would be a coaster. I could see maybe a, a flat ride, maybe something along the lines of, uh, you know, a tracked ride, what you maybe sit on, um, you know, like, something like that lines. But um, yeah. I think it's interesting to see that they're doing something with the site. Uh, I think we all knew by now, Drayton Manor uh, are moving away from the thrill rides and they are going more down the family route that fits with their target market, which is completely understandable for them. I know it's probably disappointing to some people out there and I know from the vlog I put on earlier this week, some of the comments, people saying, oh, you know, Drayton Manor have got a lot of SBNO attractions. 
um, you know, and, and they're moving away from the thrills, that is what they are doing. They, they want to be more of a family park. And uh, whether that means expanding on Thomas Moore, I'm not too sure. But I think we're going to be seeing other investments going into the park, which is good to see. Uh, George also said there's a 10-year development plan for Drayton Manor that they're working on at the moment, um, which is definitely a positive. You know, for me, a park, when it's got it in pl a plan in place, what they're going to be doing, um, I think it makes a lot more sense than just putting in random additions here and there. It's good to see they've got a plan in place. And of course, as always here at Theme Park Worldwide, I look forward to following it. It's a local park to me. I mean, Blackpool, Pleasure Beach, Alton Town, Drayton Manor. Go there to all those three quite regularly. Film vlogs to the channel and give you updates. So yeah, it's good to see that we should be seeing something going in there next year. Um, what exactly it's going to be, let me know your thoughts. But remember, it's going to have a seaside feel. Bear in mind, that'll kind of fit in with the surfboards and stuff around Maelstrom and also Storm Force 10. It all fits together. Don't know about Air Race, you know, what happened there. and. Even Shockwave kind of fits in a bit with it, but I don't know, we could be seeing that whole area receive an upgrade. So yeah, it's good to see, and I'm looking forward to following that. And um, that information has come from an article where um, George actually did, um, you know, like a newspaper article, and, and he said, you know, this is what's gonna be happening for next year, along with a bit of a history about the park as well. So um, yeah, it's come straight from him that, which is very exciting. There's been a lot of rumors around Drayton Manor, and it's good to see finally something's official and in the plans for the park. Right then, moving on, we've got some exciting news from Silver Dollar City. It's amazing to sit here now and do these news uh, articles and sort of think, actually, I've been to that park, I know what it's like. We did Silver Dollar City on our USA road trip, gorgeous park. We knew there was building some sort of water ride, replacing their old rapids, um, which is going to be opening in 2020. We knew something was coming and it's a brand new rapids what they're going to be putting in as part of a $27 million investment into the park, which is a lot of money. It's not just going to be a rapids, it's going to be a full new themed area and also a new restaurant in there as well. The ride itself is going to be about 5 minutes and 30 seconds. It's going to have the largest drop on any rapids ride in the Western Hemisphere. Um, so we're sort of looking a bit like what you've got at SeaWorld Orlando with Infinity Falls, but even bigger. Uh, along with that, the park are actually working with Bar Engineering um, and a couple of other smaller companies to put this together. It's not an Intamin Rapids. They are, uh, you know, building this independently and working with some smaller companies. So that's interesting to see because Silver Dollar City have done that with previous attractions. They tend to like doing that. So it's interesting. I mean, it's good to see we're getting a sort of a revival of Rapids rides. Infinity Falls last year, uh, this one opening up. So, you know, I think it's good to see because I thought the days of Rapids might have been over, but... Obviously not, it's good to see that uh, parks are still investing in them. We're going to be seeing eight-seater rafts on this, with 18 rafts in total, so it should have a reasonably good throughput. And it'll be part of the Rivertown area, and that's what it's going to be all known as with that smokehouse. And uh, yeah, $27 million is being invested in this. It looks very heavily themed from the concept art that you've seen there on the screen. Um, lots of buildings around, nice queue line that sort of interacts with it all. Some water effects I can see in there. I think this would be a great overall package ride and it'll fit in really nicely at the park. So let me know your thoughts as always on this new ride. Uh, it's Mystic River Falls uh, coming to Silver Dollar City in 2020. Also then coming up in the next few days, we've actually got some important theme park announcements that I'll be talking about next week. By the time you're watching this, we've most likely had the announcement from Kings Island on their new ride. Uh, there's a lot of rumours going around at the moment, however that will be official within the next few hours uh, of me recording this. So by the time you're watching this, the news will be out there. Uh, so I'll share my thoughts on that next week. See all the Lando, they're gearing up for an announcement in the next few days. Um, looking to be about their new roller coaster uh, by Premier Rides. Multi-launch coaster it seems to be. And that's going sort of over towards the back of the park. Sort of near Wild Arctic on the side of the old stadium. So um, yeah, that'll be interesting to see the news from that. And we'll talk about it next Friday. And yeah, just in general, I'm sure we'll have even more news. The good thing about this time of year now, August through to October, we tend to get a lot of announcements about what's happening for 2020. Um, so yeah, it's very exciting. And as always, stick with Theme Park Worldwide for all the latest theme park news. And you can follow our social channels as well, uh, Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. Links are down below in the video description. If you check those out, you'll see when the news is posted there as well. Where am I? 
So it is time for Where Am I? And it seems like finally I've done one that you guys have found hard because a few people down there seem to have got it right in the comments on last week's. However, not that many at all. I've wanted to do one because you, you're all too good at this. And uh, yeah, I was actually standing in the station for Colossus at Thorpe Park at the bottom of the lift hill and uh, yeah it was actually going on a lift hill walk we went up there filmed the, filmed the video a few years ago uh, we walked up to the top of the Colossus lift hill uh, with the park management and then yeah it was brilliant so make sure you check out a video uh, that we filmed from that here on the channel uh, from a few years ago but another reason I did that of course we had all the news recently from Flamingo Land on the near Colossus clone so I thought you know what Colossus was in my head I'm going to put that one in and see if anyone can work out that connection I was wearing like all the harness and everything some people thought I was on like a high ropes course, like the treetop quest at Alton Towers, but no, I was geared up in my Petzl gear, as it's called, uh, ready to climb the lift hill on Colossus. Let's have another zoomed in image then. Here it is. Where am I? And I'll reveal exactly where that photo was took in next week's episode of the Theme Park News Show. So it's time for the final segment of this week's episode, and that is your theme park moments. The part of the show that's interactive, and you guys get to send in your photos, birthday shout outs, special occasions, and so much more, and uh, ready for next week's episode. All you need to do is send them in via our official Instagram and Facebook page. You can mesh them on either, and uh, Charlotte will get back to you, and we'll put them in on next Friday's video. Let's have a look then at what has been sent in for this week, and we're starting off here with Brian at Porta Ventura. Moving on, we've got Josh at Drayton Manor just there. Up next, we've got Lee and Mary at SeaWorld. Thanks for sending those in. The next set of photos then, we've got Dan just here with a saw on ride photo. And then we've got Adam outside Untamed at Wallaby Holland. Make sure you check out our vlog that's now online here on the channel. Moving on from that, we've got Roland, who had a photo at Toverland. I hope you had a great time. And yet again, our new vlog from a couple of days ago is now online here on the channel as well. And then we've got Matteo with a smiler on ride photo just there from Alton Towers. And then we've got Cassius here at Oakwood. Up next we've got Lucas with a saw on ride photo from Thorpe Park. And then we've got Molly the dog watching Theme Park Worldwide. There we go, I'm loving that. I like how the dog's actually watching the video. Does it understand what I'm saying? I'm not too sure, but there we go. Thanks Molly, I'm glad you enjoyed watching the videos. And then we've got Glenn and Kara on Nemesis Inferno at Thorpe Park. And then we've got Liz and family just here at Disneyland. And they got Libby who had a photo there with me. It was great to meet you. And then we've got Claire and Jay on the Runaway Mine Train at Alton Towers. And then got Sean on Shambhala. And no, it's not me, but there we go. Another Sean who also loves Shambhala. So thanks for sending that one in. I'm glad we share the same passion there for roller coasters. Uh, moving on, we've got Craig who had a photo just here at Thorpe Park. Hope you had a wonderful day. Uh, Jack, Jake sorry, and Ella are up next here at Alton Towers. Then we've got Amanda and the family who had a photo there with me. I know I say it every week, but if you do see us at the parks, make sure you come and say hello. And if you want to, you can have a photo here for the show. Up next then, we've got Layla at Fantasy Island just here. Hope you had a wonderful day. And then we've got Angie who had a photo here with me. And then we've got Chris at Plopsaland Depan in Belgium. Moving on then, we've got Adam outside the Hulk roller coaster just there. And then we've got Stephen who had a photo with me there as well. Great to meet you. Archie's up next with a stealth on ride photo from Thorpe Park. And then we've got Kyle and Hannah at the Alton Towers Dungeon. Hope you didn't get too scared. <laughs> up next we've got Owen who had a photo there with Alex the Milkman. And then we've got Louise at Black Gang Shine. Hope you had a great time and I hope you went to see that donkey as well. Check out our vlog from last year if you don't remember. <laughs> and moving on from that, we've got Heather and also Thomas on Wildfire just there. And then we've got Luke with a hyperspace mountain on-ride photo from Disneyland Paris. Last few to go through then now, we've got Chloe and Ollie at Porto Ventura. And then we've got Henry who had a picture at Alton Towers. And then we've got the Bailey family who had a wonderful day at Toverland. So thanks for sharing that one. Wilson and Sarah are up next at Six Flags Magic Mountain. We've then got Jack and Sophie at the Alton Towers Dungeon. That is all for your photos this week. And a big thank you to everyone who has sent them in. Then we've got the birthdays. So firstly, we've got Sibonan, uh, Emily, Emma, Martin and Ruby. Happy birthday to all of you guys. Also, I'd like to wish a happy ninth anniversary to Luke and Vanessa as well. Uh, thank you for watching this week's video. And of course, all of our videos here on Theme Park Worldwide. 
There we go. Thank you very much for watching. I'll be back next Friday with another episode of the Theme Park News Show. In the meantime, make sure you check out other vlogs and videos here on the channel. And I'll be back next week. I'm Sean Sandbrook, and that means it's time to cue those credits. See you next Friday.